Welcome back to Mind Pump TV. I'm your host, Adam Schaefer. What we're gonna go over today, you guys, are incline bench press with the dumbbells. I'm gonna give you guys some of the best cues that I've ever given some of my clients. Let's start off with the angle of the bench press. So you'll see some gyms, they have a fixed incline, then you have some benches like the one I'm on right here that's adjustable. There is no wrong or right way to do this. The higher you go up, okay, so as you start to increase the incline, the more shoulder recruitment that you're gonna get. So if you're somebody who's trying to build the upper chest and maybe your shoulder caps going up really steep on an incline, good idea. If you're not, if you don't want a lot of your shoulders involved, you're gonna go lower. So the lower you go towards the flat, the more chest is involved, the higher you go up, the more of your shoulders are involved. When you start off with dumbbells, they're independent and this can be really challenging for people. So you wanna start off with a light weight that you can control. So we're gonna start off, for me, this is 45 pounds. This is really light. I should be able to do somewhere between 100 to 120 pound dumbbells. So for demo reasons, I'm gonna start with light weight. Then you wanna find your points of contact, which are just like a normal flat bench press. You've got your four major points of contact, which are your feet you want planted firmly on the ground, which are gonna be underneath your knees. Then you have your butt and hips, which are gonna be on the bench your upper back, and then your head. So when I lie back into that position to grab, get in that position to, to press, I want my feet planted firmly on the ground because I'm getting a lot of leg drive to press. I want my butt against the bench. I want my upper back, and then I want my head. So, and then I once I get into this position, the next thing that I want is I want to make sure that I retract my shoulders back, okay? This is going to be one of the most important cues because people that struggle with doing a dumbbell press or a chest press or any chest press for that, matter is they have a problem with keeping their shoulders peeled back and in order for you to keep it in your chest and not it kick into your shoulders and arms we need to keep them peeled back so shoulders are peeled back chest is up high butt is against the bench you're going to have a natural arch in your low back that's totally normal you don't want to excessively arch where you can feel it in your low back you want a comfortable arch because you're raising your chest up and you're squeezing your shoulder blades back all right, so let's talk about how we get up into the position to do a dumbbell press. So a lot of people actually neglect even discussing this. What I wanna do is I want the dumbbells to start off in front of me. I'm already in my seated position. I'm gonna reach down with support. I have a support on one side. I pick up, get that dumbbell up onto one thigh, pick the other one up on the other thigh. Now, from this position, I'm gonna kick the dumbbell up. So you see that I use my legs to kind of throw it up into this position. And the reason why I want to do that is I want to keep the dumbbells close to my body so when I lay back down, they don't want to dip away from me. So a lot of times you'll see people, they'll, they'll lay back and they'll open up their arms and then the dumbbells want to fly to their side and that's how you tear a shoulder. So I want to kick up, kick up, close, and then I lie back. Now what's great about the path that you take with a dumbbell is the dumbbells are, you can actually mold to your posture and your form, which is gonna be uniquely different to each person. So I don't wanna flare my elbows way out. I don't need to bring the elbows way in. It's gonna be very comfortable for me. So I'm gonna have a nice about a 45 degree bend in the elbows. Notice my dumbbells, when I come down, they should be about 90 degrees. So when I come down at 90 degrees, the dumbbells don't wanna, you don't wanna weigh in you don't want them way out. So you want them right at my elbow, you should see about a 90 degree bend. I press all the way up, keeping a slight bend in the elbow still. I don't want to lock the joints out. If I lock the joint out, that's also going to roll my shoulders forward. So I want to keep those shoulders peeled back, slight bend in my elbows, come right back down till I have about a 90 degree bend in my elbows, and then I press up. And I want to focus straight up. So I want to keep my neck my cervical spine nice and aligned with the rest of my spine. So I want to be looking straight up as I dumbbell press. And your tempo, nice and slow and controlled, about a four second negative. So four seconds on the way down, slight pause, and then press back up for one second. As far as breathing and bracing goes, as I come down, I'm breathing in, I tighten my abs up at the bottom, and I exhale out as I press up. Breathe in. Brace my core, so squeeze my abs, and exhale, press out. When you come down from this position, I'm gonna bring my knee up, knee up, and then I can rock up into that position. So let's talk about the depth, like how far down do I drop the dumbbells? Now this is gonna be different for everybody, and it's based off of your mobility. If you have really good thoracic mobility, meaning that I can pull my shoulders back, I have good shoulder mobility, so I can actually bring it all the way back, then you actually wanna go as deep as you comfortably can. So if I can actually bring the dumbbells 
all the way down to where they're lined up with my chest and I have good range of motion, it doesn't hurt my shoulders to do that, that is a great place to press from. Now the thing you wanna be careful of and be cautious of is a lot of people do not have that range of motion. And you know you're doing it wrong is when you pull down in this position and you no longer feel in the chest, now you feel it stressing in the shoulders or you start to feel the back working a lot. So that's your signal that you're probably going too deep and you wanna shorten your range of motion up. Now ideally we wanna be able to at least get to a 90 degree bend in the elbow and the shoulder. So I would like to be able to get down in that position, which if you look at where my hands are placed right here, that's a good four or five inches from actually getting down in my chest. So some people may only be able to get this deep. Those of you with good mobility that can actually bring it all the way back down, you wanna keep those good habits and patterns, take it through full range of motion if you can. But the caution is make sure it feels right, feels in my chest. If you start to feel it in other places, you may be going too deep. Listen, if you guys liked that video, it helped you out. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and share the video. If you have any questions regarding the video, just leave in the comments below. We'll be coming back periodically and answering your guys' comments. Also, if you guys want more information regarding on how to build a chest, we actually have a free guide that we created for you. Just click the link below.